Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Before we get into your reading Libra, I want to let you guys know for those of you guys that are interested in personal consultations or any of the services that we provide, you can now go to our online store and purchase them on there. You can find the link at the end of each video or below on the description box. Um, also want to give you guys a quick update. Um, there is a lot of scammers, a lot of people pretending to me to be me here on YouTube or on Instagram. Um, three accounts have been closed on Instagram, which were fake impersonators. And just recently, I learned about a new one that was actually charging clients for readings that they never received. Um, so I just want you guys to be extremely mindful. All of my social medias are on here on YouTube. So if it's not on my YouTube and it is... Uh, an account that you come across on any social media platform, please report those accounts. Um, it's just a headache. I don't know why they're, well, I know why they're doing it. And I just, it, it's a headache for my clients as well. So please be mindful of that, you guys. Also, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that notification bell so you guys can get updated of the newest videos coming out. We just dropped the tarot series that's going to be starting on Sunday. Uh, so you guys definitely stay tuned for that, as well as spell work that can help you uh, to kick off the new year. All right, my lovelies, let's get into your reading Libra. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels, what are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2021 regarding love and romance? So if you guys do see those accounts, by the way, I never solicit clients, so if you get a message from me on a random social media, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and I'm telling you I got a message for you um, from Spirit or something like that, please report those accounts. Um, I don't do that, so all right, let's get into it, Libra. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys regarding love and romance. Okay, one more shuffle. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, so we're starting off here with the Six of Cups, Libra. Six of Cups could represent reminiscing about the past or looking towards the past. For some of you guys, this could be reminiscing about a person from the past. Um, keep in mind, we are going to be going Venus retrograde, so a lot of past traumas, past experiences, or past relationships are coming back around. Um, and this could be almost like I feel very heavily for some of you guys, this could be a soulmate type of connection um, where you are either revisiting this connection or this person may be coming back around, or it may be you the one that decides to reach out to this person. Um, I'm hearing like the one that got away. So for some of you guys, it could be reminiscing about the past. Um, for others of you, it could be a person coming back from the past that will be reaching out to you uh, the end of December, beginning of early January. Um, let's see what else is unfolding. Now, the next card that we have here is the Prince of Pentacles. Um, so in regards to this connection or this situation, Libra, I see you guys being very methodical about how to take the approach or how to make an approach. This could also be the energy of the partner, the person of your interest. And these are the actions that they're taking. With the Prince of Pentacles, this is a page of Pentacles, by the way, um, which is symbolizing reminiscing and reliving the past. Um, I don't see them taking any action towards you or any quick movement. If anything, I feel like the planet alignments are going to be triggering not only them, but you as well. And that could be the reason why there is a revisiting of the situation or a being able to see things from a very different perspective, um, maybe dealing with an Earth energy, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. The next card here is the Three of Wands. It could be a person that is at a distance or from a distance from you. Uh, Three of Wands is thinking. I feel like a lot of you guys, and this is something that I'm hearing, telepathic messages. So it could be that you're dreaming them or that they are dreaming you. It could be that you guys are sending off um, messages or they're picking up on your missing or them missing you there's a lot of synchronicities to this connection so be mindful about that um and i do feel that there is almost like because what i heard with the prince of pentacles is that there is almost like 
overthinking or over analyzing of the situation i don't see quick movement but for some of you guys this could represent um there hasn't been any movement for a very long time so this could be a situation where you were dealing with someone from your past um that didn't really end or didn't come to a conclusion um in this relationship or in this connection and i feel like with venus retrograde it may trigger it's almost like synchronicities are putting you in the same path or bringing you guys together on the same path now especially those of you guys that are at a distance um this could indicate um bumping into each other or seeing each other in uh some type of gathering or some type of gathering setting um where it's coincidental i feel like it's not purposely um it's not purposely done um and the reason for this is again venus retrograde so what i would encourage you guys is look back to what you were doing in 2013 2014 that's kind of the theme that is going to be unfolding for you guys for the month of December, uh, especially with this connection, whoever you were connecting with in, in those years, 2013 or 2014, um, may be coming back around or there may be some type of uh, connection that happens or that is triggered or memory that is triggered. Um, I do see the, it's almost like a very deep type of connection so for some of you guys it could have been in fact a soulmate type of connection now the other card that we have here is the five of cups so the five of cups is regret or living in regret or feeling like there was a missed opportunity in this connection i feel that if you are revisiting the situation even if you are currently in a relationship or in a new relationship um, it's almost like the acknowledgement of what could have been done in the past, perhaps better, um, that is going to set you off um, in a positive aspect, realizing or self-actualizing what, um, what are some of the fears concerning or regarding relationships where you're going to be able to heal through that and come out more emotionally mature, especially those of you guys that have commitment issues or that you've been dealing with people in the past that have commitment issues. Now let's see what the Oracle card has to say regarding this situation for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to be honest, what I'm hearing is, um, what I'm hearing for a lot of you guys is there is a message or a communication that's going to be coming uh, for you guys in the month of December that is going to trigger a connection or a remembrance of a relationship that you had in the past. Um, it, it's almost like giving you the opportunity to get out of this regret or get out of this feeling of a missed opportunity. So for some of you guys, it is in fact uh, revisiting the past. For others of you, it could be... Um, revisiting a situation with a partner from the past some of you guys may even represent a rekindling of this connection and what we have here is i don't need your approval um this could have been an energy or a situation where there was i feel like circumstances and situations could have pulled you guys apart could have been that life happened whatever that situation is it's almost like there is a feeling of past judgment for some of you guys it could be the fear of reaching out because you don't want to be um you you don't want to feel rejected um and the i don't need your approval is almost like a uh, clarification of that you know that fear of that rejection um having to prove something uh this could be your energy or this could be your partner's energy um, but again, I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's a lot of reminiscing. My advice would be look back into what you were doing in 2013, 2014, because that's the theme that's coming up for you guys for this month of December. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope that this gives you some type of clarity and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.